the third song is especially important because it teaches us how to perform kirtan continuously. Kirtaniya sada hari, the third verse of Shikshastakam. Trinada pi suni chena, sahishnuna, amanina manadhena, kirtaniya sada hari. This is teaching us how to develop humility and tolerance, how to honor others without expecting honor in return. Thus, doing one can continuously perform Krishna Kirtan. <clears throat> so the song corresponding to this is also very sweet. There's a song related to our practice as sadhana, and then there are two verses relating to Radha Krishna's pastimes of that period of the day. So this third verse relates to the period of the day where Krishna is going out to the pasturing grounds with his cows and calves and his friends. And then from there, when he arrives to some beautiful area where they can graze and relax and drink from the pond or the lake or the river, then he will depart with one of his two or three intimate friends and go to meet with Sri Radha and perform their pastimes. So the fourth period of the day becomes the midday pastimes from 11.30 to 3.30 approximately. So this third song goes, <clears throat> Shri Krishna Kirtane Jadi Manasato Hara If, O oh mind, you want to perform Krishna Kirtan, then you must develop these qualities, this qualification. Laba Adhikar Achieve the qualification Trina adhika dhina hina kinchana chara. You should become a kinchan. It means not feeling like you have so many material possessions in this world. Right? And become with the spirit of humility, considering yourself more lowly than straw in the street, happy to be trampled upon, no problem. Become tolerant like a tree. Jiva na nirvahe ane udvega na dhivo parayupakara nija sukapasharivo. While living out one's life, you should endeavor to never cause suffering to others. Parayupakara Nija Sukha Pasharivo. You should help others. Try to benefit others while also giving up attachment to your own happiness. This is where it gets difficult. While we try to help others, if we're attached to our own benefit, how can we selflessly give benefit to others? Pada upakara nija sukha pasharibo. Dhanya dhoya yane mana pratishta barajana. Chari gune gune ha korohya kirtana. Now you can do kirtan. When? Dhanya dhoya anye mana pratishta barajan. You must develop four qualities. Dhanya, humility. Dhoya, compassion. Anyeman, honoring others, pratishta varjan, without desiring name, fame, and prestige. Chari guni guni hao. When you develop these qualities and you become qualified, then you can do continuous kirtan. Hoi leo sarva guni guni mahashai, pratishta sa chari koro amani hridhaya. When you've developed all these good qualities and become yourself Mahashai, it means like a great personality. Then you should give up the pride of your position because this pride will be your downfall. <clears throat> 